And with his trip concluded, it's worth taking a step back to look at how Trump's policies toward Asia are actually working. Because while Donald Trump is gaining friends, America is losing money and power. For instance, in his very first week as president, Trump pulled out uh, of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a decision many people agreed with because there was a chance that the TPP would send more American jobs overseas. The problem is, when Trump canceled the TPP, he didn't replace it with any other trade deal. And so during Trump's Asia trip, nature took its course. The remaining 11 countries in the TPP, as it's called, are heading toward an agreement only without the U.S. This is roughly one-sixth of the global economy. We're not going to benefit, and this is also going to strengthen Chinese influence in the region. Again, we're the big loser. America is the big loser. You see, let, let me break it down like this. The TPP is a lot like TP, okay? <laughs> like, I'll tell you what happened to me with my roommate once. He insisted on buying the <laughs> cheap toilet paper that you could find. I hated it. I was like, we got to get rid of the toilet paper. So he did but he didn't replace it with anything else. <laughs> and if you don't replace what you don't like with something else, you're gonna be in deep <laughs> Literally and figuratively. So now, America's loss is China's gain. And when you can't wipe your butt, who benefits? China. <laughs> I don't know if that tracked, but it made sense in my head. <laughs> the same thing goes for pulling America out of the Paris Climate Accord. Literally every other country is in it. And again, when America steps aside, guess who benefits? the world's two biggest polluters switching sides. The United States no longer a global leader combating climate change. China is the country that's going to benefit the most from the United States pulling back. China plans to spend more than $360 billion on renewable energy, which it says will create at least 13 million new jobs. Yep, that's right. The country where air quality comes in menthol could now beat America <laughs> as a climate leader. You see, the Chinese government is subsidizing its energy technology industry with hundreds of billions of dollars because they know new energy is a huge business opportunity that China can then sell to the rest of the world like it's everything else at Walmart. In fact, Donald Trump is so good for China that they are even using his presidency as pro-communism propaganda. China is actually using Trump. Their state media explicitly said Donald Trump is proof that democracy doesn't work. We had Xinhua, China's state media, pointing towards Donald Trump, trying to remind people that it thinks that's the chaos that democracy brings you. They say, look at the buffoon who's running ostensibly the world's most powerful country, and look at the disciplined leader that we have that at least strategically planned 30 years ahead of time. Trump doesn't seem to be able to control what he will write three hours, you know, ahead of time. Oh, three hours ahead of time? I don't think uh, Trump thinks three seconds ahead of time. <laughs> I feel like every morning he wakes up, picks up his phone and goes, all right, thumbs, you take it from here. <laughs> ah! Sent. <laughs> For more on China's uh, growing global influence, we turn now to our very own Ronnie Chang, everybody. <laughs> China is uh, stepping up in a big way, Ronnie. Should America feel threatened? Yes, Trevor. Uh, first of all, I just want to make it clear, I'm not from China. <laughs> no, I, I know, it's just a coincidence. Yeah, yeah, just like you. Yeah, you're black, but you're not from Africa, right? I mean, you're from black Australia, or whatever the accent is from. <laughs> anyway, right now, we are watching China become number one, which is great news for America. Being number one sucks. You have a constant target on your back, everyone expects you to solve everything and then complains when you f it up. Yeah, but, but Ronnie, when, when you're number one, you have power, you, you command attention. Yeah, exactly. And now China has to deal with that bull <laughs> China has to solve climate change. China has to get clean drinking water for everyone. China has to invade Iraq and invent the next iPhone, all right? Because being number one sucks. You ever play Mario Kart? Yo, that asshole blue show with the wings isn't coming for number two. Okay, number two is the best position to be in, trust me. Like at a wedding, being the best man, terrible. Being a groomsman, awesome. <laughs> groomsmen get free whiskey and cigars. The best man has to buy whiskey and cigars for a bunch of freeloading groomsmen. Yeah, 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 but Ronnie, uh, because of Trump's policies or lack thereof, America is effectively getting demoted. Yes, and it's the best thing that could have happened. Trust me, America, embrace number two. Take a back seat. It's nothing to be ashamed of. All you have to do now is sit back, relax, and get that accidental backseat car boner from the vibration. You know what I'm talking about, right, Trevor? 
you know, backseat car boner from the, when the vibrating and there's no one around, you're just chilling back there and the car's going like, right? It's just stimulating the... Congratulations, America. Enjoy your backseat boner because no one is looking. Ronnie Chang, everybody.